Hello everyone, welcome back to Jazz Shares. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Jasmine and I post videos every single week about fashion, podcasts, and a lot more. So if that seems of interest to you, definitely subscribe and click the notification bell to stay tuned for more videos and let's get right into it. So today I wanted to discuss about a lot of things. Um, more so pertaining to self and motivation leading within yourself and all that and before i get into it i just want to let you guys know that i'm not perfect you know <clears throat> just because i'm posting all these videos and talking about certain issues and topics it, it might seem like i have it all figured out but in all, in all reality, I don't. Um, I still, to this day, struggle within my emotions, um, within, you know, just reaching to the person that I want to be, letting go of old things that don't serve me, old habits, beliefs, and all these other things that, you know, we want to fix within ourselves. I just wanted to bring that out because, you know, I want to be transparent and I want to let y'all know that I don't have all the answers. I'm just giving you what I, I'm just giving you what has helped me, what I've been reflecting about um, the past couple of days and, you know, things that I feel like would essentially help a person who is looking for more. When it comes to motivation, some people tend to think you gain it from the external, which you do, but motivation does not last it's only for a short amount of time you know and when you feel less motivated you have what well, something within you has to come out in order for you to gain that motivation back and we have two parts within ourselves we have our past self and we have our new self or the self that we're trying to get to and every single day it's a constant battle between the two you know sometimes you might let the past self overpower the new self and some days it might be the other way around but all in all when it comes to being the person that you want to be you have to lead yourself into getting out of bed you have to lead yourself into just doing something that you don't want to do in that moment you have to always remind yourself like who are you trying to become what are you trying to do who who are you trying to impact because it all leads back within yourself and when you realize if you have a team of people if you you know want to start a business and you're looking for certain individuals to hop on your team and everything but you lack the leadership aspect within yourself you're not going to be able to lead others around you because you can't even lead yourself you know you can't sit here and lie to yourself that you're doing certain things to help other people but when it comes to you you ignore it or you let things slide like everything that you're doing to yourself you're doing to other people in a certain way so when it comes to that you really have to sit down with yourself and really go over certain things that you lack go over certain things where you you know you say you're gonna do but you give yourself excuses you know you you let things slide and i'm the perfect example i'm still i'm on this journey of being the person that i want to be meaning being fit being a leader being you know all these things and i'm gonna be honest i go through these phases where you for example for example i go through these phases where you know i'm working out a lot and then i just stop like i just stop and I'm really trying to get out of that habit and right now I'm in this phase of not working out at all and I ask myself every single day why is that why is it 
and in order to figure that out you need to set a day or even a moment where you are writing things down you are being honest with yourself as to what is stopping you from being the person that you want to be because it's always something from within whether that is a childhood trauma whether that is a certain belief system that you keep replaying within your mind or whether it is anything that is blocking you from moving past that and within these months i've realized right i need structure but i'm not the type of person that i get bored easily <laughs> so if it's just the same thing same exact thing every single day wake up work out do this do that every single day like i'll get bored of it in a way like not saying i don't enjoy it but in order for you to keep that momentum going maybe try something different instead of because usually i would work out by myself instead of working out by myself go to the gym with my friends or you know instead of working out i dance or just go for a run you know different things finding a way where you can keep that momentum going without feeling burnt out or feeling you know bored and it's so easy to sit here and just say all these things but in reality it's so hard it's so hard to lead yourself and the first step is recognizing it you know it, like once as soon as you recognize it you're already on the way there you're already on the process of releasing your old self and you have to learn to be compassionate with yourself you see i i would i would say i was not compassionate with myself i would i know there would be days where in the past i would wake up and i would be so mad at myself because i didn't get up and work out like i i would just sit on my bed and literally be so rude to myself because I didn't do the things that I said I was going to do. And yes, that's in a way keeping yourself accountable, but also realizing like we're human, you know? We're not always going to be perfect. We're o not always going to do things the right way, you know? Our mind wants to do something while our body doesn't. So we always have to find a way where we can compromise, where we can figure out how we can lead ourselves into this position that we're trying to get to without feeling hurt or without feeling bad about ourselves you know it literally one step at a time like you don't have to do everything all at once at least if it's just one thing at a time and then you start building it within the weeks within the months you will notice so much growth you will notice so much power within yourself because you are leading yourself to the person that you want to be by just doing one simple thing the reason why some people the reason why we feel not motivated feel burnt out feel some type of ways because sometimes we're not showing up for ourselves you know we are too focused on the ex the outside and how people perceive us and how we want to be perceived and we don't make time for ourselves we don't make time to give ourselves the love that we need and just like release all these energies built up and finding a time within you know one day a week at least one day a week you know to give yourself all the things that you want to give to yourself without feeling bad without feeling like you need to work it could be journaling journaling goes such a long way within releasing because everything that's running through your mind you're letting it go on paper everything you've been holding on to you're letting it go on paper and then as soon as you realize as soon as you're done writing you realize you have a clear mind you have some space to breathe some space to reconnect with yourself and to heal the difference between talking about it and writing and both are valid both are important but journaling is something sacred 
something where it's just between you and you you're reconnecting with yourself so finding these ways where you can just show up for yourself and it doesn't even have to be a whole hour like let's say if you're super busy you work full time you go to school maybe you you're a mother a father like you don't have time for yourself like at least if it's five minutes within any day of the week like that goes such a long way it'll just make up days months years of growth and you know what you've missed out on by just setting aside time for yourself and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll talk to you guys next week bye